Welcome to the Robbinsdale Lounge for the 2022 Buffalo Chip Poster Model Finals presented by Twisted Tea and Fozzie Cycle Shop at the Buffalo Chip. Women from all over the area participated in this year's poster model search and you have determined these are your finalists. These ladies are competing to become this year's poster model, which includes a modeling contract, passes to the Buffalo Chip, and $4,000 in cash. Say make money, money, make money, money, money. Tonight's competition includes three rounds, cocktail attire, Americana wear, and bikinis. Let's get the poster model event underway by bringing out the ladies. Right now, get excited for former car salesman extraordinaire, now turned trivia game show host, morning show radio host, and way part-time broista, your host for this evening's festivities, Fireball. This is my last resort. My my All right, Robinson, what's up? How you doing? That was that was lackluster as hell. We're gonna do that one more time. Robinsdale, how are you doing out there? Hey, all right. I heard the back now. Welcome to the Buffalo Chip Poster Model Finals. I will be your host this evening, and my name is Zach Fireball Gibson. I'm so happy to be here, and I know all of you are as well. We've been scouring the Black Hills for the next lovely face to represent the best party anywhere, the Sturgis Buffalo Chip. All these ladies have made it very, very far, and it takes a lot to come up here and do what they're doing tonight. So we're going to count on all of you, and of course all of you at home as well, to cheer on each lady as we bring them up here. Again, we got three rounds, as Kevin said. We got Americana wear, we've got the cocktail wear, and of course we got the bikinis. We're going to bring these ladies up here, but first I want to introduce our judges are going to be here tonight. We will have Holly, our former poster model. Holly over here is actually... A poster model from only a couple years back, Holly. Just, just a couple. <laughs> We're also going to have Carol, Greg, and Joe will all be our judges tonight. And, of course, we want to thank everyone for coming out here and everyone that supported our search tonight. Angie and the x Rock staff. Angie's been doing this forever. I can't take all the credit. Mama Angie, where are you at? Ma- Angie's way over here in the corner. She works her ass off to keep this going. So Angie and the x Rock staff want to thank everyone for coming out here. We want to thank Twisted T and, of course, Lainey for helping us out as well. Lainey's over here. She was a former Buffalo Chip poster model as well. She'll be helping us out. She got all these ladies talked into signing up for this event. This is the ninth year we had the selfie contest. This is where contestants had to take a selfie and submit it to the Buffalo Chip and they had to post it on the Facebook page. This is the second year for the TikTok videos. The contestants had to make a video with a song from any artist that played at the Buffalo Chip. And of course, we want to thank all the contestants that sent theirs in and everyone that liked and shared the content that did help our ladies advance here. We also want to thank the Robsdale for having us back again for the finals. I know I've been here many years before, and I can't wait to keep coming back. We love it here at the Robbinsdale Lounge. This is our ninth year, ninth year having it here at Robbinsdale. We started the 2022 Buffalo Chill Bowser Model Search here back in February, and now we're back here, and it's fitting that we ended here. Of course, thank you to Callie and Sheer Integrity Salon for letting the girls and contestants get ready in their salon. And... Big Nick over here from Colt 45 helping us out with the music this evening. I do want to say for all of you that came out for Bill Eyed and uh, the event that we had over here, it turns out it was an awesome event for Bill. And uh, I got to say, you know, the man is, uh, he's struggling. He's fighting the big C. And so is my dad. I actually just got back from Texas. I got to see my old man and he's fighting it. And fuck cancer, if we're being honest. So thanks again for everyone who came out here and uh, helped out Bill and everyone there at a bank. All right. Yeah, that's weird, it's not in here. Fozzy Cycle Shop as well is another one of our main uh, promoters of the event as well. So again, we got three attires for you. We got cocktail attire, Americana wear, and bikini. We're gonna bring these ladies up here and we're gonna introduce you to them and we're gonna get to know them just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and start with round number one, the cocktail attire. Round number one, group one, and our very first lady. Let's give a big round of applause to Jess J. Jess, come on up here. Jess is a bar owner. Three words that describe her are confident, loyal, and ambitious. Her favorite hobby is video gaming. And she attends several concerts at the gym. She, in fact, spends 15 days there every single year. It is home away from home.
All right, Jess. We want to know, if you were in a band, which instrument would you play and why? The drums. Ooh, all right, why the drums? Because who doesn't love a badass drummer chick? Who doesn't love a badass drummer chick? Well, I mean, who loves a badass drummer chick? Yeah, you don't want to plot to that. Big round of applause for Jess, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jess. We love a badass drummer chick. Next up, group number one, the second contestant, Lakin. Lakin L. Come on up. Lakin, her occupation is a lease agent. Three words that describe Lakin. Her personality is spunky, kind, and creative. And when she wants to have fun or cut loose, she goes anywhere where there's bumping music. All right, Lakin. Tell the crowd, if you were in a band, which instrument would you play and why? I was also going to say the drums because they're aggressive and to the point. Aggressive and to the point. Big round of applause for Lakin, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Lakin. Our next contestant, MWM. Come on up here. M, her occupation, she's an RN and an ambassador to women and motorsports. Three words that describe M. She's a free spirit, outgoing and loving. And her favorite hobby is exploring our beautiful country on two wheels. Steve McQueen once said, racing is life, for her it's riding. All right, M, tell the crowd, if you were in a band, which instrument would you play? I would definitely play the harmonica. All right, why the harmonica? Because it's the closest thing to an internal combustion engine, and you got to be good at sucking and blowing. <laughs> Big round of applause for M, ladies and gentlemen. Contestant number four for group one, Sage. Sage, make your way to the stage. I was like saying. Is it the one that fell? Hold on. I actually might need a uh, podium. Sage, you can come over here if you want. Where are you? Okay, you can walk it again if you want. Sage is an x-ray tech and an owner of Sky Dancing Aerial Studio. Three words that describe her personality are passionate, caring, and creative. All right, Sage. Now that I've fumbled my papers here, let's get to know you. If you were in a band, which instrument would you play and why? The electric violin, because it's a sound that is like none other. Oh, the electric violin. That's a new one. Big round of applause for Sage, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sage. <laughs> All right, contestant number five, group one, Laura Z. Laura, come on up. Hopefully I can find Laura here. I'm going to need something to put these papers on. All right, Laura is a motorcycle mechanic and a graphic designer. Three words that bet describe her personality are curious, caring, and random. And when she wants to have fun and cut loose, she goes anywhere where her friends are. Parks, bars, or sitting around the house, it's always a blast if she has people that she cares about around her. Aw, that's nice. All right, Laura, if you were in a band, which instrument are you going to play? Oh, saxophone, for sure. I feel like it's the depth of humanity. The depth of humanity. All right, I like that one. Saxophone for Laura. Big round of applause for Laura, ladies and gentlemen. And our next contestants. Final one for group one, Sinead. Sinead, come on up here. All right, Sinead is a student and computer technician. Three words that describe her personality are playful, driven, and loyal. Her fantasy motorcycle ride would be a day trip somewhere warm with the crew. Yeah, me too. All right, Sinead, tell the crowd if you were playing in a band, which instrument are you going to play? The harp. The harp? Okay, why the harp? I used to play it when I was a little kid, and I would love to bring it back to life. Play some Metallica. Metallica on the harp, no kidding? Right. Big round of applause for Sinead, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sinead. 
That is our final contestant for group number one. We're going to go ahead and get started with group number two. First contestant for group two, Cassidy R. Cassidy, come on up. All right, Cassidy is a hairstylist. Three words that describe her personality are artistic, sociable, and funny. Cassidy's fantasy is a motorcycle ride where it's somewhere near the coast. Anywhere near the coast. All right, Cassidy, first of all, East Coast or West Coast? East Coast. Never been that far. Okay. All right, Cassidy, if you're going to play an instrument in a band, what are you going to play? Guitar. Guitar? Okay, why guitar? Electric or acoustic? Electric. Good answer. Big round of applause for Cassidy, ladies and gentlemen. Our next contestant for group two is Danny S. Danny S., come on up. Danny, her occupation, she is a brain injury rehab specialist. <laughs> Three words that best describe Danny. She's confident, outgoing, and spunky. If she could be any animal for a day, she'd be a jellyfish because they're beautiful to look at, but they could be deadly to touch. <laughs> Danny, let's get to know you a little bit here. If you were going to play an instrument in a band, which one would it be? I would play the clarinet because I already know how to learn it. It's a lot of blowing and a lot of finger work. <laughs> Big round applause for Danny, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Danny. Our next contestant for group two, Marilyn N. Marilyn N, come on up. Marilyn is an aerial dance instructor. Three words that best describe Marilyn. She's outgoing, sweet, and naughty. Her secret talent is contorting her body and tongue into flexible and weird shapes. All right, Marilyn, find your way to the X here for me. We want to know if you were going to play in a band, which instrument would you play? Well, Zach, I would have to say the guitar, because I'd have to take after my dad, the local rocket star legend, Bruce Newbert. Wow, big round of applause for Marilyn, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Marilyn. Next up for group two is Akeisha. Akeisha, come on up. Akeisha is a bartender. Three words that best describe Akeisha's personality are funny, sassy, and sweet. Her favorite hobby is playing pool. All right. Akeisha, we want to know something. If you were going to play in a band, any band, what instrument are you going to play? I would want to learn how to play bass. Bass, wow. There's some bass players out there. Okay, why bass? Because my dad plays bass and he's just the coolest fucking guy ever. You gotta be cool to play bass. Big round of applause for Akeisha, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Akeisha. Next up for group two is Alexis V. Alexis V, come on up. All right, Alexis is a full time student in Belle Jolie at Winery. She also works there. Three words that best describe Alexis. Damn good time. <laughs> All right, Alexis, if you were going to play in a band, what instrument would you play? I'm going to have to go with bass guitar because I'm all about the bass. She's all about the bass, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Alexis. Thank you. And her final contestant for group two, Mariah E. Mariah E., come on up here. Mariah is a bartender and a student. Three words that best describe Mariah. She's assertive, ambitious, and magnetic. Mariah's fantasy motorcycle ride would be cross country or through the canyon for the fall foliage. All right, Mariah, I know you've given us some thought. You're gonna play in a band. What instrument are you gonna play? I would play more than one instrument because I think that my voice would be considered an instrument and I like to sing. And definitely the steel guitar because it speaks to my soul. I'm a Ben Central fan. They have it, and yeah, I'm a big fan, clearly. Well, she's a big fan of Ben Central. Big round of applause for Mariah, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mariah. We're going to go ahead and bring out group number three, starting with Vanessa R. Vanessa R., come on up here. 
Vanessa is a business owner. Three words that best describe her personality are warm, wild, and weird. The three W's. Her favorite hobby is playing video games. Woman after my own heart. All right, Vanessa. We want to know if you were going to play an instrument in a band, what instrument would you play? I'm going to go with the drums. My husband plays, and drummers are always having the most fun. Drummers are always having the most fun. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Vanessa R. Let's go ahead and bring up our second contestant for group three, Kenzie J. Kenzie, come on up here. Kenzie's occupation, she is a lash technician. Three words that best describe her personality. She's a total free spirit. Oh, total free spirit. Those are your three words. <laughs> All right, Kenzie. <laughs> I like that. All right, Kenzie, you're going to play in a band. What instrument are you going to play? I'm going to play the piano. The piano? Okay, why the piano? Kenzie would love to kill it on some keys, baby. I like the alliteration. Kenzie would kill it on some keys. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Kenzie. Our next contestant for our final group here, Rihanna. Rihanna J, come on up. Rihanna is a systems analyst. Three words that best describe her personality are driven, sarcastic, and kind-hearted. Her secret talent is that she's a pretty sweet break dancer. <laughs> Can you break dance in those? <laughs> I think so, all right. Rihanna? We want to know if you're going to play an instrument in a band, what are you going to play? Definitely a saxophone. A saxophone as well. Okay, why? They're classy, sassy, and always give the song a little more. Oh. I like it. Big round of applause for Rihanna, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Rihanna. Our next contestants, final group, Allison B. Allison B, come on up here. Allison is a health coach and a manager and a secretary for Raptor M Ranch Horse. Maybe that's horse range. Three words that best describe her personality are optimistic, confident, and silly. All right, Allison. <laughs> all right, when you're not doing all those things, let's say you're going to pick up an instrument for a band. What instrument are you going to play? The ukulele. The oh, is it pronounced ukulele? It is. I actually lived in Hawaii, and that's how it's pronounced. Now we know. Okay, ukulele, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, why the ukulele? Because it's chill and badass. It is chill and badass. Big round of applause for Allison. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ukulele, all right. Next up, Trish R. Trish R, come on up here. Her occupation, she is a mother and a bartender in Deadwood. Three words that best describe Trish. Personable, courteous, and sympathetic. When she wants to cut loose and have fun, she likes to go dancing and sing karaoke with fun people. All right, Trish. So we know you can sing, but let's say you're going to play an instrument. Which one are you going to play? The saxophone. Also the saxophone. Okay. Why the saxophone? Honestly, it comes. It goes way back when I was elementary school, and they would have you watch people play different instruments to figure out which one you wanted to play, and the saxophone was the only one that mesmerized, like hit me, like in the soul. The saxophone just hit you in the soul when you played it. Yeah, and I guess it's because I like I fell in love with jazz, and I was like eight. Huh. All right, she's a jazzy woman. Trish, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Trish. Big round of applause. Our next contestant for our final group for round number one is Miranda. Miranda G. Come on up here, Miranda. Miranda's occupation, she's a full-time student. <laughs> Do your thing, Miranda. She's a full-time student and she loves art gigs. Three words that best describe her personality are headstrong, wild, and loyal. Her fantasy motorcycle ride would be weather in the 70s, wearing a broad shorts, riding through her hometown just like the old days. All right, Miranda, you're going to play an instrument in a band. Which one are you going to play? The violin. Okay, the violin. Why the violin? Because honestly, I'm more of a punk like alt kind of person, but I secretly love classical music. We all love the classical. Big round of applause for Miranda, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Miranda. And our final contestant for our final group tonight, Alexia W. Alexia, come on up here. Alexia is a college student, and she works with childcare. Three words that best describe Alexia. 
outgoing, goofy, and compassionate. Alexia's favorite hobby is dancing, tap, ballet, hip hop. She does it all. All right, Alexia, let's say you're going to pick up an instrument in a band. Which one are you going to play? I would pick up the saxophone because I love jazz music. And second of all, I'm smooth just like the saxophone. All right, I like it. Big round of applause for Alexia. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was our first round. That was the cocktail attire. So here's what we're going to do. We will take a quick break. You guys can get more drinks. Grab your twisted tea. We're going to let our judges do their thing. Then we will bring the ladies back out for round number two, the Americana wear. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.